Hey folks, um, it's been a while since I shared one here, but uh, here I am. I um, wanted to update you on what I've been up to, lots of work, and uh, a little bit of uh, some of the concept building I've been working on for this project. Um, let me give you a little brief introductory into this little ring you see here. Um, basically, I built these attachment arms to hold my glass components and so I can attach and hold glass components at any angle. It's uh, really primarily built as an assembly jig so I can attach glass components together at different angles utilizing the way heat rises and gravity falls to kind of get away with a little bit more when it comes to going big or scaling it up. This piece right here is the first piece I'll be making with it. It is a tree of glass life. And um, I'm soliciting help from my other glass working colleagues out there in the industry to donate small components, all in the half inch to three quarter inch realm. You know, just one entry per person is fine. Just something that you feel represents the glass community on some level, just scale down to size is really what I need. I'm gonna be building branches and I can add these components into the branches and then weld those branches onto the tree. And I can use these attachment arms as a bridging device so I can secure the seal well at the right angle and whatnot. So that's basically the concept in a nutshell. Um, I have a few people that have donated pieces already that a lot of them will work nice. Some of them got a little bit big. And uh, my concern is, is as the tree gets bigger and I'm shooting for around four feet, then it's going to get heavy and weigh on these branches. The branches are basically about six mil. So if we can keep the scale down to about half inch, it would be preferable. And then I can slowly add those components to the tree as it gets built and comes along. It's going to probably take a couple months to rally the support and slowly but surely add the components to it to get the size it's going to be it's supposed to be. Um, the police uh, is not going to be for sale, uh, so I'm going to give it to my son, and he agreed that it'd be okay if the piece went on tour and, and was exhibited at different places, but it belongs to him. Um, this is really the first piece that I'm going to be making with it, and I want it to be inclusive and let you be a part of it if you'd like to be. And uh, that would be appreciated, I think, by all of us. Um, this isn't really COE uh, conflict going on here, because there's a lot of different ways I can add components. So if you're, you know, glass of choice and CO33, you know, I can take other COEs and figure out ways around how to attach them. I can hook them on different branches or you know, trap them in a, in a Y, like a bead or something like that, that floats inside of one of the branches. There's lots of different things that can be done. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and I look forward to sharing the progress with this as it comes along. And, uh, you know, with my friends and family, this is the project. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao.